Hi everyone. Today we'll be taking a look on how to delete keyframes in DaVinci Resolve. Most of the videos that I've seen online involve how to add keyframes. I haven't seen many videos showing you how to delete them without watching the whole video itself. So in this video, we'll be seeing how to quickly add as well as delete those keyframes. So let's get started. We will open an uh, existing project for this tutorial purposes. All right, so now we see our timeline in this uh, project. We'll go back to the front of the project. Now what we need to focus on is the inspector tab. Make sure you have the inspector tab in the top right corner. Now, as you can see under the inspector tab, that we have a lot of options, transforming, cropping, uh, transitioning. So that's what we'll be using to add and delete keyframes. So we'll go to a point in the video where we need to zoom in. Now once uh, we select a point, we'll head over to the inspector tab and we'll click this uh, white diamond shape looking or a white dot if you want to call it. Now the moment you click that, it will make a keyframe. Now, as I clicked on the timeline itself, it will show you how to see the keyframes associated with that clip. I'm going to zoom in and we'll make another keyframe. And the point of the second keyframe being close to the first one is it'll add a, a transition effect within itself. It will do a slow transition from point A zoom to a point B zoom. We'll go to the uh, transform button as well so we can quickly uh, resize and position uh, our frame now as you can see when I play it it will stay at the current zoom because that was our initiator uh, keyframe and it slowly starts zooming in based on how far the second keyframe is and then there we have it now we have added a keyframe we can add subsequent keyframes uh, to your liking. Uh, let's make another one. Let's make a zoom out over here. So we'll drag it, make it smaller. And now when we play it, it will do a transition into zooming out and then transition into zooming in at our desired level. You can play around with them and add as many keyframes as you want. Now in order to move between keyframes, use the arrows next to the dots. Now to delete it, Go to the arrow, press that orange button. The moment you click that orange button, it becomes white again. That means you have removed the keyframe at the selected location. As you can see on the timeline, that white dot appears, it disappears. On the timeline, the white dot disappears. And there we go. Now we have successfully learned how to add as well as delete keyframes. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one.